Many people think this is the spread of Christianity. Um, by the third century, it is. Um, all right, and it, it was up in Ireland. Uh, maybe before St. Patrick, maybe not, uh, but got up there. But many people don't even recognize that this part was a huge part of Christianity, and so was this part. Uh, actually, um, Damascus and uh, Antioch were the big places. Actually, Alexandria and Antioch were big, just as big or bigger than Rome, more important, I mean, in the first century, in the second century, in the third century, um, in the fourth century. Uh, and they act like, I mean, I once dated a girl. Uh, this girl was, um, she's a black girl from the South. Uh, she moved up here to go to college. This was 10 years ago. And I talked to her about Ethiopian icons and she shows, oh, which European power uh, evangelized them? I said, none. The Ethiopians were uh, Christians before the Byzantine era. Uh, they were, you know, you read about the, the Ethiopian eunuch. I mean, they wouldn't have put that in Acts if there wasn't uh, an Ethiopian community, right? Uh, but we know definitely by the fourth century that they had a Christian kingdom down there. Uh, and they had it running strong until Haile Selassie died in Aras Teferi. And... Um, the the oldest community of Christians is being slaughtered right now with help of the American government uh, around Damascus and outside in the hills. And uh, the Nestorian version of Christianity, which was uh, which was um, persecuted, I guess you could say, although it wasn't, it was just considered heretical in the Byzantine Empire. Uh, they Nestorius became the bishop over the Persian Christians right? The Sasanian Christians. And, you know, not to say that, I mean, there was just the stories coming in. They said, oh, there's all these Christians here. Let's not persecute them. Let's just make, it's an anti-Roman form of Christianity. But somebody asked me about India. Uh, really, India was Christian before Islam? Yeah. Uh, now, the sea was, is, is Antioch that it's connected to. All of the East is connected to uh, Antioch, unless you're like China, which got there by way of Russia. Um, although there were Christians, so we know from archaeology and from records that there were Christians in ancient China. Uh, and there were also Manichaeans and uh, Gnostic Christians, uh, as well as the uh, more Orthodox kind. But yeah, India had the five princes of India, or the Orthodox Church talks about the five princes of India, which is near the Gupta uh, reign and then you also had we know that there were christians there because there was bishops writing by 210 a.d right that's less than 200 years after the death of christ um about 120 years from the first letter from rome so if you have a bishop there by 210 you have a community before that uh it's not just the malabar coast that became catholic under the portuguese this is what irritates me oh the christians in india they should be killed because most of the Indi Christians in India are part of the Syriac or Jacobite or Malankara church. And even the Malabar Coast that was at, there were Christians there too, who were, who were called Syriac now. They wrote in Sanskrit. They, uh, I mean, they preserved many things uh, from that time. And it's like, you know, this whole social justice thing about Christians of the oppressor. Well, they were in every single country where Islam went before Islam existed, right? They're Coptics in Egypt, they're Ethiopic in Ethiopia. Uh, they were in North Africa, the various types of Vandal Christianity, um, Aryan Christianity, Donatist Christianity, Circassilian Christianity. Uh, they're all throughout uh, the Arab world, which we know as Syriac. Also there's Coptic. Ethiopic is in the Arab world too. There's Armenian, Armenian and Georgian preserved the languages. They got there from the Arabs or from the, the Syriac people. So that's why their language looks like it's derived from Syriac because it is. That's the writing system it was before the Latins or the Greeks got there. They're older than the Russians, right? <clears throat> but it infuriates me that people are so stupid about their history. Or the, the Alaskans, the Alaskans, the Inuit people were Orthodox before the Catholics got here, right? Nobody had to put a gun to them when the Russians came over and were persecuting them. 
the uh, the Orthodox bishops were martyred because of the, the brutality of the Orthodox bishop or the Orthodox or the Russian army, as well as the uh, the French and the Catholic Spanish Peter the Eliot. So it's frustrating that uh, oh Christianity it's Eurocentric. No, that's only Protestantism. Oh well, Jesus didn't wasn't white, didn't have blonde hair, blue eyes. Nobody thought he did. Those drawings are extremely modern. They're only Protestant. We know what he looked like. Uh, if you don't consider Palestinians white, then he wasn't white. Although they more looked like the Coptic Egyptians. Um, probably looked more like the Egyptian Coptics. Uh, but um, what people talk about white to me is just Aryan or Caucasian. It's from India to Ireland, so I consider Arabs white. I consider my the part of my family white. I consider Italians white and Spanish white. Um, but yeah, so... Was he white? Well, yeah, he was Caucasian, Aryan, just like uh, people in India or people in uh, uh, the the Copts. And I don't mean Aryan language-wise. Um, I mean it people-wise. Uh, and Aryans, no, they don't come from Northern Europe. Sorry. They are in India long before that. But was he a West African black? No. Was he a Southeast Asian Chinese? No. Was he a Native American? No. But it, yeah, it's frustrating. Um, and people somehow imagine that everybody in ancient Rome and ancient Greece had blonde hair and blue eyes. It's ridiculous. Look at the modern day Southern Italians. That's what they looked like because it was before the invasion of the blonde hair and blue eyes. And as for sub West black West African people, they weren't there either. There were many Ethiopians and desert people, but just like there were no um, indigenous Brazilians there or Chinese there, does that mean those people can't be Christians or can't like the Roman Empire or can't look at Greece or can't look at Persia? No, it's fine. I mean, the Irish weren't there either. Well, the Celts were in um, Anatolia, but that was just kind of an outlier. So it's just so frustrating with this bullshit that people don't even know their history. You know, as if Christianity only existed in Europe, that's Eurocentric. In fact, it got wiped out of Europe during the Dark Ages. It wasn't in Europe, it was only, in, you know, well, it wasn't only around the Mediterranean. It was completely wiped out of, out of Britain, out of Gaul. It was never in Germany. It got to Germany very late. We want to talk about late places. Sweden and Denmark didn't really become Christian until the 13th century. Peace to you.